so hello and welcome to the next uh, onboard lap laps this time of uh, Croft. So this is a preview for Croft this weekend, obviously British train cars, and uh, I'm back in Genetta. So what well, better way to start in Genetta G50 into the first corner, down one gear, using all the runoff on the exit, trying not to use too much so we don't get caught out by the clerks. Keeping it middle of the track as we come round the long right hander, we're going through a tight, tight chicane there, trying not to hit the tyres. A uh, bit of a funny one from last year there. Flat out through there and down the back straight. We're going into Tower Bend now. This is uh, just going to hit over a hump, which is where we will break a proper race pace. Down three gears, turning in really late, where the track uh, breaks away into what looks like a car parking bay over to the left hand side. Using all the curve on the exit and again into the Stuart S's. Again, this is flat at race pace, just trying to nick some curve there. Again, trying to not to hit the tyre barriers like we did last year. Using all the exit curve that we've got and all the exit, uh, all the entrance curve that we have on the way into the next right hander. Uh, car will be cramped over onto the left hand side, it's very easy to lock the wheel into Sunny in, carrying all the speed that you can using all the camber. A couple of cones there and the noise limiter, so we're changing up a gear and not running quite as wide as we would usually. This corner will be usually down one gear, running the curve on the inside, letting the car drift to about midpoint, getting it back over to the left hand side and into the right. Again, using the camera on the inside that we can. Into the final corner, hairpin, down into first, really late turn in, really late apex, squirt it out and up and across the line. So that's a lap aboard the Ginetta G50. We're now going to go on board the Ginetta G40 for a proper, um, proper speed lap. And this is from qualifying last year. So, again, a little bit different. Uh, less power different gears, different ratios and such like, so again we're going to be down a couple of gears into turn one, using all the curb, all the entrance on the way in, down two gears, keeping the power in, using as much um, curb on the way into the, the little left right flick, carrying all the speed we can through, these little cars want to carry as much speed, so a bit of a wider line, absolutely flat through the, uh, through the chicane, using those curbs, uh, down onto the back straight, up the gears as fast as we can. We're looking to break just after the hump, go down three gears into this corner, it's really, really fast. Coming into the middle just to avoid the hump as much as we can. Late turn in, back onto the power, control the understeer, use a little bit of curve on the exit. Back over to the right hand side, we're going into the Stuart S, it's absolutely flat through here. Uh, this session it is just to say being trickling with a little bit of rain, so we're on, uh, on what the Ginetta Juniors then ran as the dry tyres. Um, but obviously with a little bit of wet rain. Gain into that corner, uh, little locking up on the rears and on the fronts, really difficult corner for the drivers. Using all the camera on the way in and on the way out, a little bit of curb as well, and the curb on the exit. Over to the right hand side, we're going to be down one gear, late braking and turning in really early, uh, braking really late actually, sorry. Using about half the uh, track width on the way into the next corner. Use all the camera on the inside, just miss the tyre stack. Try and keep it nice and tight, we're going to go back down to one gear, brake down, first gear, late turn in, late apex, and out and across the line. So that's two laps of uh, Croft for the preview for the British Touring Cars this weekend. Can't wait to be back out, big thanks to everyone that's helped me uh, achieve that, and also to everyone who's bought the t-shirts. So big thanks, and we'll see you at the weekend.